size is only upper body, right? Yeah, only upper body. Okay. <laughs> to be wearing uh, yeah, underpants, we or, <laughs> underpants or boxers and nobody knows. Nobody knows. Eh? That's what all the people in wearing COVID and Zoom meeting yeah, and live streams probably... Yeah. Sometimes we're wearing boxers also. <laughs> Especially if you're working from home. All yeah. oh, right, man. Uh, so, hey, welcome, man, to this. Thank you, buddy. Uh, thanks, uh, Farik, for uh, doing this. You know, it's it's been a long time. Yeah, I mean, it's the been la- a long, long time. The last time we actually sort of um, saw you and met you, you, you came with your 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 band. It was the project band to come here to do... Mixings. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But mm-hmm. that was like, that what, was long... five, six years ago? Ah, uh, think... Yeah. Hey, no, no, Whatever. that was during COVID. Ah, ah during COVID? Ah? I yes. think. Okay, you see, second, yeah. the, <laughs> you see, during, I guess, you know, as as time goes goes by, your, yeah. your memory, everything just becomes blurred yeah, into it. It's yeah, like, true, true. when did this happen? Oh, did this happen two years ago or five years ago yeah, or ten years yeah, ago? It's true. like, but so yeah. It was, it was like about almost four years ago, I think. Oh, man. Almost, yeah. Time has flown, man. <laughs> and uh, of course, you know, uh, I wanted to talk to you here primarily because mm. of, you know, what you did. And uh, congrats, mm. man, on Pake. Thank Pake you. was an awesome thing, you know. It took me a while to actually wa- to actually watch it after it was released and it was mm-hmm, announced, mm-hmm. right? Because for me, I really wanted to watch it in one sitting. Okay. For me, like even if I listen to album or so, right? Uh-huh. You know, somebody gives me an album, it's like I, I want to like find the time to like betul betul listen from track one until end, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and and so it's like I finally found the time. I watched <laughs> it, and it was you know, mm-hmm. it's and it's an awesome work, lah. Thank you. You know, yeah, you know. Really, really loved it. I mean, even for me also, it was a uh, the discovery. You know, it was a whole uh, eye-opening thing to the, the history. Mm. But I don't talk about it. Maybe I let you talk a little bit okay. about it, uh. So you know, um, you you want to share share a little bit more about about uh, what Pakit is about, mm-hmm. you know, and we'll we'll take it from there, man. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Sure. Actually. Okay, um, started back in 2013. The first idea lah. Wow. Uh, 2013, no, it's 2023, right? Yeah, uh, 10 years ago. 10 years ago. <laughs> That's, that was the uh, the first idea. Mm-hmm. Uh, came in um, when, I want, when I'm thinking to do something. Uh, when I'm thinking to produce something for the music scenes in Malaysia lah. So and I saw there's a lot of I saw a lot of documentaries from overseas, mm-hmm. and I think this is something yang missing in the local industry because we see the overseas artists they documented everything until they finish the recording. Let's say mm-hmm. they working on the album from day one they enter the studio until they finish recording, everything is documented. That one dah lama. I mean, uh, for overseas artists since. 60s, 50s, they start doing it already. Mm-hmm. That's why we can still enjoy Get Back from the Beatles recently, yep, right? Exactly. Uh, because they documented everything. Uh, in Malaysia, kita tak document sangat mm. uh, perjalanan. I mean, the, the journey of the uh, musicians, artists, be it mainstream, be it underground, be it uh, independent. Okay, this is something missing lah. So, I think why not we do something yang focusing on the independent music scene and Try although although there's not so many, uh, what we call this uh, archive footage uh, from the from the previous years. But then, at least something that we can produce and to tell the younger generations that there are peoples yang previously doing this. There are peoples yang previously working on this music industry. Yeah, music we call this uh, local independent music scenes. And until today, we can see that. Some bands already make it because of the previous works done by mm-hmm. these heroes. But I, yeah. like I, I, refer, I refer, I refer them as heroes, lah. Exactly, man. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. they are. They are. Yeah. They are. They are literally, you know, yeah. the, the pioneers and the, the heroes. Yeah, they are yeah. the pioneers. That's the reason why I started thinking to do it, and we started with uh, a small gig in KL Plaza in 2014 when we call we call the gig uh, as Pakit. To kick oh, the kick. right. Okay. okay. Mm. 2014. So, mm-hmm. we bring in, uh, we invited uh, OAG, uh, Subculture, Infectious Maggots, all those heroes. Yeah, I think yeah, about, all those about, names, yeah, man. about five or six uh, old bands, older bands, and 
maybe about four or five uh, new bands lah. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's like a gathering of old and new bands. Right. So yes, that's yes. the first what you call this. That's the first step of uh, this documentary lah. Mm-hmm. Because the intention was uh, to organize a gig to document the the environment in the gigs. Mm-hmm. Because like what I told you earlier, we don't have much archive footage on the on the music scene. Ah, uh, music. We call it the uh, local independent scene yep. mm-hmm. itself. So that's why that's the first uh, the first uh, step lah we did. And then after a while, uh, because my my myself, I'm doing a lot of productions. Uh, we did a lot of actually government jobs lah mm. for video productions. <coughs> And after a while, we quite busy with the we call it the. Uh, Actual jobs mm-hmm. that start coming in, yeah, can, you know, ah, uh, pays the bills lah, you know. Yeah, <laughs> because yeah, we need to pay the bills first yeah. and anything, right? Yeah. <laughs> mm. So that's why because uh, we have to put that project aside until MCO came. Why? Ah, mm. uh, the reason mm. was because during MCO. We got nothing to do. <laughs> we don't ha- we don't have jobs. We don't have projects. Yeah. And then, luckily, at the same time, government initiated this. Uh, what do you call this? Uh, this dana dana yeah. dan- dana. They call it dana industry creative digital. Ah uh, no no they no? they call it ah uh, dana pemuli or what? Oh okay. They want they want because yeah. purposely for the creative industry during mm-hmm. the COVID time lah. Yeah. So I, if not mis- if not mistaken, it is called pemuli. Mm. Is under penjana or pemuli? Yeah. Dana. So, mm. uh, one of the categories is to produce a documentary. Right. So, so I think this is this is the right time lah. The the, to, the chance is there. The chance is yeah. there. Yeah. The idea the the idea is already there, and then the time is mm-hmm. there during the COVID time. Right. Yeah. And then suddenly we can try to get funding mm-hmm. from the government itself. So, I think why not? Right. Uh, So ten years ago, the idea, the, the that seed of the idea has been there for so long, huh? Yeah, 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 mm, yeah, yeah. So when did you actually like start uh, um, shooting the go- documentary? I mean, even before you started shooting, mm. I mean, you know, I'm sure there's been a lot of planning and and pre production. Who did you get involved? I know Alel, you know, got involved with mm-hmm. the sound soundtrack, mm-hmm. yes. the production of the soundtrack and all mm-hmm. that. We can talk about that as well later. Yes, yes. You know, but but how did your planning uh, go go from like okay now we can do this, and then to the start of a uh, start of your shoot? Like mm-hmm. how how did your planning? I just want to want to know. Okay, planning. Ah, uh, mm, actually, because uh, during that time during the MCO. Uh, every everybody's not working, mm. so I'm thinking, why not? I keep in touch with um, all this, uh, all my musician friends. Mm-hmm. Yang maybe some of them I, apa, jarang jumpa, mm-hmm. like Alil, uh, because we've been in, in the same band before. But after a while, we lost contact. Not 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 lost contact lah, because tak selalu jumpa dia, tak selalu jam. So not not yeah. as close as before lah. Mm-hmm. So I call him up. Uh, told him that Alil, uh, I got a project. I got a project. I'm gonna do music for this so-called documentary, Peke. And my intention was to get Radhi Oig to sing for the song. So I brief him lah. I brief him mm-hmm. uh, about the song semua, and then he came up with the with the few options lah on the songs. Mm-hmm. They want they want for the music part lah. Yeah. And then for the documentary part, uh, I get. All my friends from the same, all my musician friends, mm. we have same interests, same taste of music, mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> right? So we get them to come to my office and we start talking to, mm. we start discussing lah. Yeah. We start discussing how who we should uh, secure to do to do the interview and mm. then uh, and by when we should get this guy, this guy, this guy, and then we list up. I think we list up about almost fifty. Mm, right. Almost fifty pers- uh, wow. people. Yeah, but then of course we cannot do every everyone. We cannot we cannot interview everyone, mm. right? So uh, and one more thing during that time is the MCO time. Uh, there's a lot of constraint mm. in terms of productions. You cannot simply go outside and 
uh, do the shoots. Yeah. You remember that, right? We Correct, need to get yeah. the, uh, what I call this, the letter, the letter uh, la, yeah. everything. Yeah. So, there's a lot of constraint and there's a lot of uh, challenges. Mm. So, what I'm thinking was uh, the most easier way, the, the easier way is just to get who we can get mm. in short period of time. So, we plan, uh, we plan from the 50 list, maybe we reduce up to 20, until 20. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. we start working with the top five first. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, we start contact Radhi. Mm-hmm. Yep. We start contact uh, Aru. We start... Uh, Wolf, we start I Gintash, saw. Yeah, Wolf, Wolf, yeah, Wolf, uh, yeah, Lock, Lock and Emmett. Yeah, yeah. Emmett and a few others. Lah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the planning was about two or three months before we started the yeah. actual production. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How long did the whole like the shoot process, you know, from shoot to obviously once a shoot's done, mm-hmm. uh, then the actual, you know, the post-production editing until the... Okay. How, how long did that take? The planning took about two to three, two to three months. Mm-hmm. And then we did the production maybe about another two to three months as well. Mm. Mostly in my studio. Yeah. In Menjala Kepung. And we get bands performing live as well in the studio and we shoot and record them as well. Planning and production itself is almost, is almost uh, half a year already. Lah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, I think the hardest part is editing. <laughs> the post-production. post-production. <laughs> because when I, let's say when I interview Radhi, I have about two hours footages of him talking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> then when I, I when I talk to Wolf, I have another about maybe another two hours of interview. Yeah. So I need to edit everything and make it in between two hours uh, running time. Mm-hmm, yeah. And my first cut was about four hours plus. Wow. That's the first cut. <laughs> the, the director's cut. Huh? The director's cut. The four hours plus. I was last one was like, wow. Which I'm. Susah lah. I mean, because yeah. a lot of information and... I imagine, yeah. And that's why when, when, when I do the first cut, I think this is... Apa? This one's enough already. Mm-hmm. We need we don't need to go get someone else input yep. lah. Because yeah. this is too much already. Uh, and, and I have to edit it and make it in two hours. But there's... I would call this... There's a lot of information that I cannot put in in that two hours period of time. Yep. And so hopefully we we can start doing the new one for Peke. Is a sequel. It's going to be a sequel for the for the previous one lah. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, because actually that's that's the actual plan. Because the actual plan, I want to do where we co- where it covers during the early days up mm-hmm. until the in the explosions. Mm-hmm. During your time lah, during uh, Pop Shavi start Barang ah, Bahaya, ah. I mean during Hujan, <laughs> ah, uh, Hujan know, time, yeah. yeah. Then during that, 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 that's, that's, I think that's the, that's, I think lah, that's, that's the peak of the, what call this, of the independent music yeah. scenes in Malaysia lah. Because when I, when I asked Abang Rome as well, he agreed that that's the peak lah during the time, I think 2007, 2008. Uh, that's that's the peak of the indie 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 scene mm. in Malaysia where uh, a lot of bands started being recognized by the by the mainstream mm. yeah. by the uh, general publics. Mm. Uh, so that's that's the initial plan. Mm-hmm. But then when when I edit everything, I don't think I can put everything in one in yeah. one documentary. I agree. <laughs> I agree with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why my intention was this is the first one. Hopefully, when I got time and when I got Funding, I can start doing the second one, and sure, I can, nice. I can, I can bring whatever uh, footages from the previous one that that haven't haven't put in in the first one. Yeah, I can bring it to the second one, and that, this is the part where we talk about the second one. This is the part where we talk about more on the on the in the explosions mm-hmm. lah. Yeah, in the. Industry. I mean, yeah, I just watching the just watching Perkit right by itself. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, and, and being musician, like, you know, uh-huh. right, I really sort of felt that, oh man, this is going to be on an epic scale. There's no way that you're going to be able to talk about all these things within, yeah. you know, that, that one, one and a half hour, uh, two, two hours, two hours, yeah. two hours mm. format, right? Yeah. You know, 
and two hours also is considered long nowadays, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's movies always like mm. 90 minutes la, or one and a half hours. La. Yeah. And when I knew when I watched it, it's mm. like, oh, it's definitely got so much more that you can, you yes. know, that you can, you know. But as much as, you know, uh, the, 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 the documentary pretty much covers from, let's say, Early, early 90s, 90s until, uh, until maybe about early 2000s, 2000s right yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that 10 that 10 year period yeah but you know period, yes. around then mm-hmm. but even then already it was like there's so much information in there yeah. there's so much history and so much stories yeah. that yeah. you know from all the the you know the, the people that you were uh, interviewed you yes, know? Yes, yes yeah when i did that when i did the interview i thought i thought i know already about what happens in the in the scenes before yeah. but then then only i discovered that there's Lots more that I don't know. Yeah. Lots more that I... Let, there's lots more new discoveries. Exactly, uh, man. So that, <laughs> that's interesting. For uh. me, that was so fascinating. I was yeah. like, ah, that's why I, I, I knew that I wanted to watch the whole thing in one shot <laughs> to really soak it in. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and, and it it's a must-watch. Any Indeed. musician, mm-hmm. any Malaysian local musician, right? Or even mm-hmm. if you're, you know, into the into the local music in, 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 in any way, you don't have to be a musician. Just yeah. you gotta watch this lah. It's yeah. like it's a must watch, you know. Yeah. That you have to to watch this whole whole thing. Yeah, no, I think not only for the independent musicians lah, because mm. uh, last month we did uh, we have we have a screening in Ipoh. Yeah, yeah that's right. Screening. Yeah, Azama mm-hmm. was there as well. Correct. Yeah. Uh, the screening there's there's a, of course like, there's a lot of students, university mm-hmm. students, everything. But those in front of the those who seated in front is the invited guests mm-hmm. and. Uh, there were few doctors and few researchers mm-hmm. and also few we call this few activists lah mm-hmm. from yeah. the from the music industries. At first, I thought they don't like this cut this type of content, seriously, mm-hmm. because because they are like uh, late 50s, 60s, 70s mm-hmm. old Ac- guys, academic, you know, academician, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So at first, I thought. They don't like it, but then after the after the screen ended, they came to me and they said, "Congrats! This is what I'm looking for. This this is what I want to do as well." Wow! I was like, "Oh, really? I thought you guys tak layan semua ni kan? Because mm-hmm. because because yeah, because it's like macam our our uncles, our yeah. our apa? We always aunties, look, yeah, we uh, always look at all these academic people as like you know, oh, you know, this kind of thing is too low for them, or yeah, you know, to, yeah, not exactly. their not their thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I thought they they might live something like my like, city or anything else from the mainstream, but likely they they what call it they dig this type of content mm. as well. Yeah. Uh, then, then, what I still remember this. Uh, one of the guy, what I call this, is a graphic artist. He did, he did uh, a lot of uh, cover for seventies, eighties uh, artists. Mm-hmm. Uh, his name is Abang Tapa Tapautai. Mm-hmm. He told me that uh, when he first heard about Peke, he look for he look forward to watch it, but mm-hmm. he, he he don't know where where to watch it lah. And then suddenly when he got a chance, he sit there from the moment he start until the end. Mm. Uh, so it's, it's like macam it's like an, an honor lah for me because the whole guy yang I don't think I don't right. uh, yeah we, we assume that we assume you know, yeah, yeah we assume that this is not their type of content mm. that they dig and they really love it lah yeah mm-hmm. that's really encouraging to hear man yeah yeah, yeah. I, I was going to ask you about the Port Ipoh screen exactly oh, yeah, okay. but you already answered it. Okay. You, like, <laughs> you already know what I was going to ask uh, I actually planned to go that 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 weekend with, uh-huh. with us as well oh know? really I planned to go but yeah. last minute all the work Oh, that I mean, weekend, yeah. I like I couldn't couldn't make it lah. Uh, you know? But that's really encouraging to hear, man. Yeah, yeah, you know, mm. and you know that um, have have you like um, heard back or you know is there any other interest from for people who have maybe contacted you to see where they can take this, mm. or is it too soon to say? Because <laughs> mm. Port Ipoh was only a few two weeks two yeah. three weeks back two, last two, month yeah, last yeah, month yeah. 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 Mm. Mm. Not yet, I think. Not yet, Not la, yet but hopefully, la. hopefully, la. Mm. hopefully some, yeah. you know, positive things and some mm. interesting, cool things will yeah, happen. La. Because I really felt like after finishing it, it's like, wait a minute, yeah. 
I want to know more. It's like, you know, you, you <laughs> true, can true. Make, it could have been like a 10 episode. Yes, or, exactly. Know, or you break it, break it down to you like a, a narrow season, down to season, you know. A lot of, a lot of parts. Yeah. You see? Mm. Uh, we can narrow down a lot of, uh, what I call mm-hmm. this, a lot of subplots. Uh, yeah. But because the intention was to, to document, to, to document the musical journey mm. of the uh, independent music scene. Yeah. yeah. But then, there's a lot of other things that you can actually right. mm. uh, cover and mm-hmm. make up another story from there. All right, yeah. Uh, but I, I understand now, uh, you know, you have to keep that, the narrative and you have to keep telling that story, mm-hmm. keep that storyline. Otherwise, you know, it'll be like, oh, there's yeah, too, so, too many things. Too many things. And so, mm. orang pun tak faham nak. Yeah, <laughs> correct, correct. You know, I, I said, I tell myself, I have to, you know, always think, you know, <laughs> as as a as as a musician, mm-hmm. I always view it from that lens of like, ah, okay, you know, <laughs> as someone who's in it, okay, okay, I, I want to know this, I want this. But uh. sometimes, yeah, I, I agree, you know, you have to take it from from the public viewer, the general viewer's perspective, what yes. will be the best for them? Mm-hmm. That's okay. awesome, man. <laughs> you know, I mean, um, uh, obviously, uh, can we, where can we catch, you know, uh, Paket now? Is it still on okay. view? Yeah. Mm. Paket is still on view. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can still watch it in view. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, the plans for it, is it still going to be on that platform for for how long? Uh, indefinitely? No, no or? because... Uh, Paket will be in view until, uh, if not mistaken, until end of this year. Right. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. So from January onwards, maybe uh, there's a there's a plan also lah. Mm-hmm. We want to do like a screening campus. Mm-hmm. Uh, we I talked to Azmel, you know as well. He, oh. He's the one who, who suggest suggested to me that to right. do to do it lah. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Uh, campus. Yeah. Uh, because Az- Azmel is at Taylor's, right? Azmel. Sailors or Sunway? Eh, Sunway, Sunway, Sunway. Sorry, he's he's like training at Sunway, correct? Sunway, okay, all right. Yeah, right, uh, right. Yeah, that's actually a great idea. You know, you can talk to, you should reach out to uh to to the people who are yeah. uh, you in, in all the different universities and colleges. Mm. You know, um, Taylor's. You know, uh, I know, I know. Uh, I don't know whether you, remember, you know Ajib. Ajib is at. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's lecturing at Taylor's. I have oh, a friend okay. Hyrule who's at the music department at uh, UITM, mm-hmm. ICOM. All yeah, these, yeah. yeah, they should all watch watch this to yes, sort of you know, yes. yeah, make yeah, it like, man. yeah, make it like compulsory, compulsory yeah. <laughs> for a subject. You know, uh, uh, must 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 be total. You yeah. know, you don't get the credit. <laughs> the That's too harsh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you yeah. can you can you can suggest it yeah, you know yeah. yeah I I have a friend who's like in the music production you know yeah. I'm I make it like you know um I was playing to and he agrees yeah. you just need to plan it it's like you know oh you know it must be compulsory to go on this field trip oh, to, really? to a studio or something uh, like that oh, okay yeah. mm. <laughs> that's good yeah. mm. so you know yeah that would be cool to to get more eyes on it man because yes, definitely yes, yes. I said you know it's a it's a must watch lah yeah yeah true that that's the thing because uh. Uh, what I got a lot of feedbacks lah mm. previously when when we first aired in Astro first a lot of people don't have access to Astro mm. they don't have a- Astro accounts at home me too <laughs> me included and myself as well okay <laughs> <laughs> okay but I, the way I saw it I think there's a good way to launch it because we launch it uh, what I call this properly mm, yeah. by using uh, apps as, as, as yeah, through their channel helps, correct, yeah. it helps in terms mm. of publicity mm. in terms of awareness for the public but what I call this the cons was not so many people can watch it mm. uh, when, that's why I approached View mm-hmm, and yeah. then they happy mm. to have the documentary in the, in the View platform nice. so at least more people can watch it because it's awesome. already in the in the streaming platform right but it's free, it's fr- I mean it's free to view yeah, it's you know, free to view as well yeah, st- you can view it for free as well yeah but with ads right I think they why have we, ads, we, right? we have yeah. ads la. Yeah. Mm. quite annoying la, because there's a lot of ads <laughs> in oh. between few minutes oh uh, okay but as well you just subscribe it for 10 I think 10 or 12 ringgits oh, for one and okay. you can watch it yeah but okay. well, they still have an option of free to view if they want to yes. yeah, yeah. Still, yeah. you can still view it for free la. Mm-hmm. but the thing about view mm. because they are, they are, if you see their content the I think their main target is K drama friends, ah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, see, because uh, if you ask me, it will be better if their content is targeted uh, more on generals, ah, more a little bit general, lah. Mm-hmm. And I think for this type of content, the most suitable 
platform is uh, maybe Netflix lah. Mm. But we have okay. we ever got uh, I call this contact with Netflix yet. But so eventually, man, that's the next step. Ah, uh, that's the next yeah. step lah. Maybe maybe when I completed the second part lah, second part okay lah. <laughs> nice. But for now, at least at least still people can view it from view. That's a good platform as well. Cuma Hello term- Netflix. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Cuma in terms of why like, mm-hmm. the targeted market maybe kita rugi sikit mm, lah. I see. Uh, yeah. Yeah. See. How about like you know either hosting it independently on your own or YouTube or yeah, there's the considerations? There's a there's a what call this uh, streaming platform juga that we can host it independently. Mm. But like I told you lah maybe in terms of Publicity in term of mm. uh, what we call this, uh, ex- exclusiveness is not. There's pros and cons. There's pros it, and cons, lah. Yeah. Uh, mm. We can post in YouTube, but uh, for me, not now, lah. Mm. Uh, okay. I want to maintain the exclusiveness yeah. first. Yeah. And then, since it's on view right yeah, now. Since yeah. Since it's on view, mm. and maybe later, I don't know where it can be shows. Yeah. Uh, so maybe later, lah. But one thing for sure, after a while, we launch in in, in Astro. After I think after less than few weeks ah, it's already a pirated version in YouTube. Ah, <laughs> uh, do we? Okay, you know, well, uh, hopefully you know. But they, have, they already but, took, took it down lah. Okay, took it yeah, down. yeah, yeah. But maybe maybe that shows that there's that interest there lah. Yeah, there's so, interest because mm. surprisingly, the one in in YouTube, mm-hmm. uh, in two days I think, <laughs> almost. <laughs> Almost 1,000 view already mm. for the two hours punya <laughs> uh, I call it two hours punya program. Yeah, for One a hour. long form program. Yeah. yeah, long form content. That's this already mm. almost uh, reaching uh, 1,000 view mm. in two days. So that's crazy, <laughs> man. <laughs> so yeah, I mean things that you would never probably not expect, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But hey, that's you know that's always good, man. Mm. More more eyes on this. Yes, yes. yeah. Um, during during the whole process, lah. Mm. I mean, you know, there's definitely, there's definitely, there's definitely going to be some ups and downs, you know, throughout the whole thing. Mm. What would probably be the, for you, was the most positive or the the best memory out of this whole process? And then, concurrently, you can talk maybe if you can share maybe what was the worst part of the whole, okay. <laughs> of this whole of this whole thing. Yeah, okay. let's start with the 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 the, the best part. The la. best part, yeah. The best part, I think, because we get to work during MCO. That's the best <laughs> part, lah. Because because the thing is, yeah, yeah, we in the creative industry affected a lot yep. during the the first period mm. of MCO, right? So we cannot do anything. So when I get a chance to bring my friends, musician friends, and work together in the projects, mm. and then we get bands like Restrain, Couple, Dead Mushroom coming in to do a live uh, live recording, uh, video and audio in our studio. That's that's another, what you call this, that's another thing yang make it uh, special. Right, yeah. Again. And then we get all these rock stars, Radhi, Lok coming to the studio and we do interview with them. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's I think that's the best part lah because we can get everyone to get it done. Yeah, uh, and, to get it done, and to do something that you love, yes, right? yes, that you all really, really love to do. Yes, yeah. correct. Mm, during during a time where, like you know, yeah, which was a tough time for everyone, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah true, awesome. Mm, that's the best part, lah, because, uh, because my studio was not properly set up for uh, audio production yet during that mm. time, so we get everyone to come, we we get uh, my musician friends to come, and then we do everything from from zero lah mm-hmm. because there's no stage there's no backdrop there's no nothing only few uh, instruments yeah. because we usually no, use that space for first to jam lah mm, with, yeah. with among friends yeah. uh, so <laughs> we have to redo rebuild the studio mm-hmm. and make it at least in a condition where we can start shooting yeah uh, But um, the again for me as a musician, mm. the those were some of my favorite parts of the documentary, man. Just to watch the the performance, and I think you nailed the the vibe, the look. Uh-huh. If if you were to do it in a place which was like, wow, looks like got proper production, like uh-huh. thing and stage all that, uh-huh. it would probably look too clean too, yes, and yes, too yes, yes, pro. Yes. You want to keep that, you know, underground, yes. the vibe, right? True, It's true. like the the. 
you know it's kind of like oh you are at this gig punya ah, you gig know vibe. you are at the, at the gig vibe yes. and you're feeling you know, not everything is all that yes. but kudos man it looks it looks great it looks really, cool and it and it sounded really good as well because okay. uh, um, um, when I was watching it I listened to listened to it I was oh, watching okay. it to because when I can enjoy something I'll listen to it uh-huh. properly lah on okay. headphones lah <laughs> that's you know? good yeah. Yeah. I mean to me if I want to watch things on you know movies ke, on on somewhere uh-huh. I want to really properly appreciate the whole thing so okay. for me the sonics okay. the visuals up uh-huh. down down to the sound man and yes, you know sir. awesome this awesome job man i love oh, yeah, love the whole vibe of the the live performances yeah live performance because yeah. actually the the idea the intention was to re- record a live performance in mm-hmm. a gig mm-hmm. you see but of course lah mc oh we cannot have gigs so that's why we set up a gig Yeah, so you did it yourself. You, that really, you know, that, that was a very cool part of the whole documentary. Yeah, yeah. You know, the whole, you know, you, then where you put it, you know, in between all the interviews and all that. So yes, it's yes, nicely, yes. Uh-huh. nicely spaced out. And we got to see some, you know, uh, bands which you have not seen in a long, long time, you know. Uh-huh, yeah, yes. yeah. Mm. Restraint was very cool. Yes. I'm not, yeah, I recorded them once a long time, a long time oh, really? ago. But Restrain, yeah, uh-huh. it was really, really cool, cool uh-huh. to, uh, to 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 watch them perform. Like. <laughs> yeah, they're quite tired. Yeah. Mm, mm. yeah. Oh, awesome man. Yeah, I mean, they they are really, really kill, killing killer band man. Yes. From way back then also. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've been around for quite some time already. <laughs> yeah. So you know, so I guess those were like the kenangan manis, the yeah. the, the, the mm. sweet memories. I mean, so. Any any downsides during the Downside. whole? Downside. Mm. Mm. Any like you know <laughs> things that you can share lah, of course. Yeah. Mm. I not really downside lah because uh, you mean during the production or after? Or even bef- yeah, I guess during yeah. Mm. Any like you know challenges like you know things that. No. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. There, there, there. Yeah. Uh, ch- you're talking about challenges. Mm. One of the challenges is to to do interview outside, outside Kuala Lumpur, because we cannot travel right during the okay, time. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I got this job from 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 Tourism Malaysia lah. We did a video mm. in Langkawi. We we shoot in Langkawi, and my plan, one of my plan is to record uh, to interview Mio and Jay from Ipoh scene in Ipoh mm-hmm. so I grabbed the opportunity to travel to Langkawi okay and then on the way back I dropped by in Ipoh and do the interview there mm-hmm. so that's quite I mean before yeah. before 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 that so I, so I, so we don't have any idea how to how to, how to get get there lah get there lah la, la, right? la. mm. so luckily I got this job So that I can travel to Langkawi, mm-hmm. and on the way back, I drop back to Ipoh and interview uh, Mio. But the only, the only thing is because we can only grab Mio during that time, uh, because Jay was not well, Jay Jay the mum lah during that time. Mm-hmm. So we have to only grab Mio lah. So mm-hmm. apa better, better ada lah dari tadi lah, better nothing lah kan. So that's that's the I call this consider down part lah because. If not because of the what call this official jobs, mm-hmm. <laughs> so I don't think yeah. we can get to interview them. Yeah, people. you know, I'm I'm sure you know we we also you know I also sometimes uh, pandai pandai you have to yeah bend the rules bend the rule a little yes, bit to, yeah. to get some of our uh, jobs that otherwise get, you know uh, yeah but that's cool yeah so uh, I mean um, uh, some of the other cool things as well mm-hmm. which of course you know um, um, the, the I don't know whether whether you can actually see it on on the the video but definitely on the the, the, the page mm-hmm. right like the Facebook page Facebook page okay is one of the cool things which which definitely because you have it on Facebook page is there a website for it Yeah, but yeah. that's normally for the for the merchandise lah. Ah, uh, okay. So la. I saw it from the from the Facebook page. Uh-huh. Yes, the you know, uh, yeah, the merchandise pack. And, oh, okay. And it was so cool. Thank you for bringing this, man. Yeah, yeah. no problem, no let's, problem. Let's bring it up to the camera here. <laughs> so this can be like a little unboxing right here. Yeah, sure, so, sure. So, um, is. Is it still available? We can still order this. Ah, uh, because actually we sell it with t-shirts. Yeah, correct. But, but now, but but right now the t-shirt is very very limited, left. Yeah. In our offices, so 
uh, unless you you come to the office and maybe we sell it to you lah. Mm-hmm. But for now we don't sell it online no. yet. Right. Uh, okay. Because we're running out of stocks. The, uh, but like the whole the whole pack, it's like a pack, correct? Yeah. Yeah, it's like uh, yeah. the whole pack lah. The okay, pack let's let's do a little sure. unboxing over here. Hey, I got to unbox this right here on this. <laughs> okay, official merchandise. Yep. Yo. Know? The, the, the stereo pixels, which yes. is your which is your company, mm-hmm. yeah. And so inside here is, yeah, I I was act honestly tell you the truth, okay. I was actually going to try to to order. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how how much is this? The whole tag is ninety ringgit, right? Uh, ninety nine. Yeah, ninety nine. Yeah, 99. I know it's ninety because uh, I know I already bookmark. I already bookmark. Oh, already already. Bookmark. <laughs> it's like you know there are a lot of bookmark stuff yeah, that yeah, I, yeah. that I wanted to get. Uh, There's poster. There's posters. T-shirt. T-shirts. And, and the, oh, the CD as yeah, well. You know, yeah, yeah. poster, T-shirt. So you know, um, the I guess CDs. the only way to get it now is to go and. I just get in t- get in contact with Farid lah, <laughs> and, and, and find out more. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 The details I'll, I'll I'll leave it down. Okay. Yeah. Cool, man. Thank you so much for 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 uh for bringing this. No worries, no worries. Yeah, <laughs> you know, very very cool. So uh, what's next in in what's next in store then for for the the team? I mean, you you touched about you know mm-hmm. you have so much material mm-hmm. and. Uh, Content that's enough for, uh, yeah. When when's when is uh, you know, when can we see the part two? <laughs> part two. Uh. Okay, that's the thing because uh, we I think if we 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 about to start doing the part two, I think I already have about thirty percent contents nice. from the previous okay. from the previous shoots. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, another seventeen seventy percent we need to work on it lah. Mm-hmm. And then when to start ah. Uh, Okay, when to start up? Because the thing is now the most important thing. I think is funding lah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, because we work with a lot of people, and yeah, you need, you uh, need, need to pay. We need, you to, need pay, to pay yeah. people. You yes, need to, yeah, yes, definitely. Yeah. If I work it on myself, I can do it now lah. Mm. But <laughs> we have to yeah. start work. Uh, we have to get people to work on correct, it as well. Correct. So yes. once we can secure the funding, I think we can start mm-hmm. to work on it lah. Well, okay. hopefully, you know, sponsors, anyone yeah, out there, you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's very, very cool, man. Mm-hmm. So, um, who who are the people that were involved in this? Are uh, obviously, you know, mm-hmm. uh, Alel. Shout out to Alel, right? You know, yeah. yeah. And guess what? I brought. You know, I still have your. Yeah. <laughs> I still have your the CD, man. It's Old school flavor. I know. I still have it. You know. It was recorded in two thousand. Let's see. Oh, but the, 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 the cover is a bit rosa already. Rosa already, yeah. Eh, what's, what's the year? It doesn't say. 2003, I think. 2002? 2002. <laughs> <laughs> This is 21 years 21 ago. 21 years man. ago, yeah, yeah. You yeah. still keep it, yeah. But Thank you, know, Rene. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I mean, you know, that um, uh, you, you guys were one of the most exciting bands to watch. <laughs> Hence the name Excited. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. So and I and I had the opportunity, of course, to work with uh, uh, Alil and his, and his other band over yes, the past the problem, past yes. couple of years as mm, well, uh. yes. So that's so nice to see, you know, that that you know the the two of you got to uh, uh, work together yeah, on can, yeah. on on this. Like um, during the um, the the sh- the shoots for all the different bands, mm-hmm. did you all do it in like one session or did you like you know do it in separate? Okay, most most of the sessions we do it in. Not mistaken in in one time like, mm-hmm. it's about it was about three weeks I think mm-hmm. in the studio and then after this, after that I started uh, editing the mm-hmm. footages and then we start going out to interview mm-hmm. more other people lah, like Abang Rom mm-hmm. Aru yeah uh, Aru we interview him in Brickfields Abang Rom in at his house yeah and few others lah Um, so so the the rec- the live recordings were you were spread out lah over 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 three, over, over three to four weeks lah yeah over three to four yeah. times so. and then what about the 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 theme song you know I, yeah. I will be you know the theme song uh, quite 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 curious to know how okay. was the you know how did you manage to get ready to come because <laughs> because there's magic behind it <laughs> <laughs> because I've been involved in stuff and I and I you know yeah. no 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 
no no disrespect to Roddy, but you know, you know, to get him into a recording session sometimes can be a miracle, can be magic, lah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Was it was it tough or? Ah, uh, it's quite not really tough, lah. Mm. There's a magic behind it, lah. Because maybe ah, because okay. that one is just... during. During MCO, right? Yeah, so uh, it's easy to get to get hold of. Yes, mm. easy to get touch with him, mm-hmm. and maybe during that time also they tak banyak show. <laughs> Can, yeah, so it needs, it needs to do cool, something cool. La. Yeah, we'll uh, just we'll just leave uh, it at that. You know, yes, there's lots of cool, interesting stuff, but we won't we won't won't, won't sidetrack into that. Yes, yes, but yes, that, yes. that's very cool, man. You know, and and then uh, obviously, um, the 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 theme song had um um. Uh, Ruddy on vocals Yes Ruddy on vocals Tam um, Blind Trap yeah, On vocal as well as well mm. Mm. We have uh, Is that Hujan Right yeah yep, He played bass, bass for that Yeah mm-hmm. Alil of course on guitar Yeah And mm. Iju but, from Monolog Last mm-hmm. time from Monolog He's on guitar as well He also played guitar as well yes. Yeah mm-hmm. uh, And Kuduks from Pesawat mm. Right As drummer yeah, yeah. So, so everything was recorded at the your your studio lah. Yes. Everything yes. there lah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's really really DIY because yes, I yeah. was following Alel, mm-hmm. you know, so you know, occasionally he would, you know, post about things and yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, and yeah. I was seeing that, oh okay, he was yeah. doing this, you know, and and you know, I was of course interested in all oh, the gear, there was stuff uh-huh. and yeah. That's really true very true to the very, very DIY spirit, man. Yes. It sounds great. Yeah, thank sound, you. Sound thank sound you. great, you know. <laughs> I, I I love like I said lah. The live performances is one of the things I can la- lion the really? lion lion a lot lah. Yeah. yeah, because if you if you check out the album here, mm-hmm. most of it is live performances. Mm. Mm. But only three full live performances mm-hmm. are included in the in the documentary lah. Yeah, but there's I think four or five others. Live performances. Yeah, uh, we did for this record. Uh, this is all. This the soundtrack is also available separately. Yes, separately? yes, yes. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So mm. the to order also can order to yeah yeah can, the the website lah through right? the website lah. Mm, okay, yeah. this is Okay, yes. yeah. All mm. is. I'll leave the info all down in the description one. Ah, yes, so people can. can always link it to it. Right. So, you know. You can still get the album. Go yeah. and go and support it, man. Yeah, yeah. But physical CD is quite hard to sell nowadays. <laughs> That's why I have to I have to package it with the t-shirt so we can ah. sell it easier. Yeah. yeah. So t-shirt package and everything. Um. Uh, yeah. Can get in touch with Farik, Farik man. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, awesome, man. Um, it's really, really cool that you, you came here to sort of, uh, you know, mm-hmm. to to talk talk about this. I really wanted you to 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 talk with you, you because, again, I'm such a big fan of the documentary. I really love it. Thank I you, thank you. I can't sing enough praises about it. That you all, <laughs> folks, you all should watch it. You all must watch it, man. <laughs> and you get to watch it on view until uh, end of the year, end of right? The, yes. And then you know, after that, my hope we'll see what other other platforms. Yes. In, the, mm. in the in the future lah, uh, merchandise as well. Um, what what's the um, how how do people find info about uh, Paket okay. besides just searching Paket mm. the it's like Facebook page or yeah, you can mm. follow us in Facebook, uh, Instagram yeah, and also TikTok, mm-hmm. but not we are not really active in TikTok lah because mm-hmm. they wants to <laughs> to we call this. Different, not, different, different, uh, algorithm, different, different algorithm. Different algorithm because demo, I don't, we don't get used to it, lah. <laughs> different demographic, <laughs> different yeah. demographic, and, yeah, and, uh, and, so and all that. Mostly know. Facebook and and it's IG a, like, not a very indie rock thing. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. you know who knows, you man. <laughs> that, that that some it's, it's actually quite surprising. TikTok actually, you know, can yeah. can be a you know can be a maybe you know yeah. yeah. Mm, but the thing is because I'm afraid if someone message as in TikTok. We don't reply because we rarely <laughs> check TikTok. <laughs> maybe that maybe we should get someone to hire someone younger to. Someone younger, yeah. yeah. Sometimes some of these things, right? Yeah, I, I guess we, before we were before we were recording this, we were talking about yeah. there's just some things which totally under our radar because it's not you know not yeah. our demographic, it's oh, not yeah, our yeah. scene, man. Uh, so it's like we didn't even know about a lot of a lot of things. Uh-huh. Yeah. But again, I think again what you did is cool because there's so much to be learned from the lessons from the past of how the the whole scene, Correct. you know, uh, developed where the history was from. That those who are in the industry right now, the mm-hmm. scene right now, can learn from. 
But yes. likewise, you know, there's also things that we can also learn from from the new new people as well, lah. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, true, true. That, that's very cool, and I love this. The the documentary, you know, really bridges that gap. That gap, you yeah, understand. you yes, know, yes. and the, the what you did in documenting the. Mm. The stories, the histories is so important. Like what you said at the start, lah. Mm-hmm. We don't do that enough. We don't do enough of that. Yes. You know, mm-hmm. in 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 documenting uh, all these all these uh, stories, yes. and and the, the the history, the lessons that we can learn from it. You know, sure. and that's one of the reasons I I want to do this podcast as well, just mm-hmm. to talk to talk to all the people who are behind the scenes, mm-hmm. people who are doing all this yes, and yes, documenting yes. the stories, lah. Yeah, because the thing is, because mm. if we don't document it, maybe after a while. Nobody knows about it already, yep. really, mm. because uh, because we are talking about indie music scenes, can? Mm. Kalau you talking about mainstream artists, mungkin people can still after twenty years, thirty years, people still can Google mm-hmm. and they can get still can get a lot of information yeah. uh, about certain mm-hmm. artists. Yeah. But if you talking about uh, maybe about spirochinetic circus, yeah, correct, right? yeah, maybe after after a while, after maybe after. Yeah, twenty years from now, the, when you start when you Google spirochinetic, you cannot find information about spirochinetic because mm. you cannot find uh, the picture who's who's the people behind that name. Yeah, so I think that's why this type of content is important. Yeah, so at least people can s- s- still refer. Mm-hmm. People can still get information about mm, musicians. Yeah, in yeah. the scenes from the mm. early days. Yeah, so the important. trailblazers, lah, the yeah, pioneers, yeah. the ones who really, you know, set the path, laid out that path for, yes. for, for, for my band, yes. you know, for True people like that. us, yes. you know, who came, I came after that. Yes, they were the really the ones who sacrifice, you know, um, you know, going against even social norms back then. True. You know? True. Yeah. You know, if, if you if you watch the documentary, yeah. I, if not mistaken, Aru said something like, uh, they thought, what what is Underground during the time, yeah. They even uh, don't care uh, about the about yeah. the uh, what call this about the mainstream. What mm. they know, they just want to play something that they want to play. Correct, yeah. They want to play yeah. something that from their hearts, mm-hmm. and suddenly people label it as underground lah. Yeah, because it's something different from the yeah from the whatever we mm. have in the mainstream. Yeah. You know, uh, industry I think you them, nah? during the documentary you so touched about the New Year's Eve when your gig yeah the, the, the black Eve, black, the, black, the metal. black metal yeah. and that so of course during that era that was one of the dark that was the yeah. most darkest darkest moment of, la, of, of that la. yeah because I think after that that uh, incidents I think about a year or so a after year that, of, yeah. year plus still no in the media the yeah. press and there was you know yeah because yeah. there was so much negative so much negative backlash yes. about about underground music or no yes, all correct. like Satan worshippers yeah. and, <laughs> and, and you know and all drug addicts and whatever yes. it's like all that all that bullshit yeah like. when you talk about about the drug addicts and, so on, and then I the, the from, from, yeah the stereotype yeah, yeah. Uh, but know? then from the from the documentary itself Ardi from Naratu did mention that hmm. they screen about Three hundred people. It's only, but it's only a handful less than ten. Of, less yeah, than ten people. A handful of you know of of uh, kids lah, or, yeah, or yeah. folks out there lah. You know, mm. Mm. So, and it, and if you look, and if you were to just get a random sample of the same amount, three hundred people out in public, it will be more. It will probably be more. <laughs> yeah, you know, you'll probably correct. take more. It's yeah. Like, so on, it's la. totally a wrong perception, sir. Yeah. You know, and you know. You know, with all this documentation and this documentary and all that, hopefully we, 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 you know, can sort of, uh, you know, the the mainstream can mm-hmm. have a more accurate representation yes. and perception of what, what all these indie musicians are are about, lah. Yes, yeah. correct. Yeah, and I can't imagine, man, the sacrifices they had to go through back then, mm-hmm. the the challenges that they have to organize gigs and yeah. everything. Nowadays. Yeah. Nowadays, all the, the gigs nowadays, there's so many of them. So many. And now they're all in like nice venues yes. that can be doing, gig, you know, this kind of gigs in 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 a, in a proper venue yes, with proper yes. backline. Yes. And so it's like, wow, we have, we have to appreciate what we what we have, man. Mm, betul. Yeah. Really got to appreciate. Yes. And again, lah, this the documentary really, I think it's a, it's a work of love with well, yeah. by, by you and and Alil and the whole team behind it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, should definitely you know. Yeah, so yeah. it's work of love lah because we do it because of patience on this lah because yeah. we love we love the thing. 
If not, I don't think I'm going to finish it. <laughs> and, you know, hopefully there's more to come, man. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. Hopefully. It's a good place to wrap wrap this up, man. Yep. Yeah. Thanks again for doing this, you know. Thank uh, you. Thank you for doing Bucket for making the documentary. Again, okay. watch it. You know, folks, you should yeah, watch go it. Yeah, watch it in view I now. Know, I, I know, I sound like a broken record. Keep, keep <laughs> saying that. But man, you should watch it. And thanks again for all the... The right. merchandise, man. No you know, worries. You know, all the best for everything in the future. Thank all you. Right. Bye, folks. Don't forget to watch for Kate in yeah. view. Bing, bing, bang.